It's 1-1. One, one. Off the top of my head, I don't think any other Irish female fighter has. Apologies if I'm mistaken about that. So Ireland could potentially, if I am right about that, double their amount of women's world champions in the space of half an hour. Jennifer Huggins, our referee from Canada, but Khalif will have a lot to say about that. So Ireland in the red, Algeria in the blue. Three three-minute rounds. Here we go. Khalid does tend to just wave that lead hand a little bit. Serves as a distraction at times. Broadhurst closed the distance down well there. Took her feet in with her. Went for the one-two. Then they kept really landed clean, but she really covered the ground quick. Jab to the body there from Broadhurst. Nice jab to the head from Khalif, who's got those long kind of telescopic arms. Then again, caught with the jab. Broadhurst has got to find a way to slip that. Slightly short there, Broadhurst, as she looked to let her hands go. Khalif just taking those feet out towards the ropes. Looks for the jab. Broadhurst managed to avoid that one. Broadhurst just closing in. A left hand got through there, I think. Then a right hand too. But that's some good body work there from Khalif. Just dipped her knees, dropped that height. Jabs the body again there for Broadhurst. That's a decent shot for her because that body is on display for Khalif. She holds those hands quite wide, those elbows well away from the rib cage for the most part. Looking to counter with the left hand there, Broadhurst, but just came over the top of that front foot a bit. Just past the midway stage in round one. Not much in this, not much at all. Khalif looking for the jab, Broadhurst coming forward. Letting her hands go there. Jab caught on the gloves there by Broadhurst. Just dipping in and out with that front foot. A little bit of a feint. Seeing if she can draw something from Khalif, who comes forward in quite a clumsy fashion there. You don't see that from her very often. Broadhurst may be a bit surprised by that. Didn't manage to catch her on the way in. Broadhurst with a left hand to the body there. Khalif trying to find that right hand back. She's landed some decent jabs, Khalif. Maybe had the better of the first half of the round, but Broadhurst is having the better of the second half. That was a good looking left hand there from the Irish fighter. And then has the final say in the argument there, too. Just a cheeky little left on the inside. Final few seconds, that's 20. Not loads in this, but. I think Broadhurst's second half to the round has been stronger than Khalif's first half. Combination again there from the fighter in red. Difficult to see at times how much of these are landing clean. But the bell goes at the end of the first. And I will go red corner there myself. Khalif did some good work with the jab in the first half of the round, but second half of the round, Broadhurst just standing right on the borderline was tempting Khalif in. And then when Khalif let her hands go, she was backing her own hand speed. And she caught her a good few times. Well, split scoring and three judges do go in favour of Broadhurst there. And as I've said over the last couple of days, when you get a split round like that, if you come out on the right side of it with three out of the five judges, that can be really important down the stretch. There wasn't a lot in it. As I say, Khalif did land some, some decent stuff, mainly in the first 90 seconds. Nothing particularly heavy, but it's all about landing scoring punches. A scoring punch has to be delivered with the knuckle part of the glove to the front or side of the head or the torso. That's what the ringside judges are looking for. Nice tight guard there from Broadhurst, who again is just right on the borderline there. Khalif just stepped in and rattled a couple off to the body. Broadhurst comes back with a left. She's getting tighter, if anything, here, the Irish fighter. Khalif 
sets her feet and looks for the body. Right hand up top there from Broadhurst. Writes the body from Khalif. I think Khalif has been helped out a little bit here by the fact that Broadhurst is just that little bit closer than she was in the first round. That's the kind of distance we saw her at in the first round, which is just a bit further out than she had been the first 30, 40 seconds of this second round, which allowed Khalif to, to work that body a little bit. Broadhurst with a good left hand there. Right hand, I think got through from the Irish fighter. And again there, and Khalif goes to the body once more, but gets caught with the right. And this is looking a little bit similar to the, the first round so far, in that Khalif certainly had the better of the first minute or so. Mainly due to that body work, but Broder's just looking like she might be able to come on strong in the second half of the round. Khalif just trying to aim that right hand. And there's a combination from Broadhurst off the back of a left of the body. Goes up top with the one-two. Over a minute remaining in the round. Again, just dipping in with that front foot. And the body's not available to Khalif because, as I say, Broadhurst, who was maybe a bit too up close and personal in that opening minute, is just pulled herself back those few inches good combination again from Broadhurst and again there on the inside little poke to the chest with the jab got that tight guard tucking up well there's another jab to the body left up top I think towards the final 30 seconds of the round and, and this is very similar to the opening round for me Broadhurst is putting a stamp on everything in the second half here and again there with the right hand followed by the left. I think this is maybe a bit clearer than the first. There's that left into the body followed by the hook. Combination there from Khalifa. They're on the gloves and Broadhurst comes back with a couple of clean shots. Three-two split to the red corner at the end of round one. I would go red corner again there. I thought that was a clear round win. A clear round win. Mainly due to the work she did in the second half of the round. Khalid just wilting a little bit. And she gets it across the board there. 10-8 actually there. From the Netherlands and from the USA. So Broadhurst is in good, good shape here. Very good shape. Because she's got a 20.17 lead with two judges, a 20.18 lead with another one and two cards of 19-19 so unless Khalif can do something huge in this final round then it's going to be Broadhurst who's in very good shape to take that gold medal because Khalif needs to get some 10 eights in this final round she needs to win those two drawn cards and needs to turn around one of those 20 18s it's a big ass Khalif there looking for that one two but she's had very little success punching to the head Khalif that that guard of Broadhurst has been in place and she's being aggressive at the start of the third round here the Irish fighter good left on the inside you can see that just clipped the chin there of Khalif. Hadn't really managed to use that height particularly through that jab quite effectively actually in the first half of the first round, but we haven't really seen it since then. She's completely neglected it. Again, Broadhurst almost just walking in behind that guard backing herself that when she gets into range she'll find the shots and she does again there nice straight left hand just goes through the guard
does that crunching left and she's landing that pretty much every time she throws it. It's amazing how often the southpaw left hand, their backhand lands on an orthodox fighter. Without it seeming to do anything particularly special, it seems to bewitch opponents at times. It's the angle it comes in on, but she's used it to really good effect. And heading towards the final minutes, the Algerian flag flying over the far side, but it's the Irish team who are going to be celebrating at the end of this. Into the final minute. And they're frustrated in that Algerian corner. They've been cutting a little bit of a frustrated appearance the last couple of rounds. There's plenty of, of advice coming in, but Khalid hasn't been able to put it into practice, whatever it is that they're saying to her. Not for lack of trying. Right hand there as she just pulled her weight onto the, onto the back foot. The broadest has been right on her with that front foot, putting her under a lot of pressure. Not because she's been all over her throwing bundles of punches. There are different ways to pressure your opponent. One is to let your hands go relentlessly, but, but that front foot pressure is, is almost more effective because they know that you are capable of reaching them. They know that you are, you are on them. And it's that kind of latent threat almost. Even when you don't throw, they're expecting you to. It burns that nervous energy. And that's a good performance from Broadhurst. She's won that final round comfortably. I've given her all three rounds myself. It was split scoring in the first. But comfortably her round in the second. And comfortably her round in the third. So this is going to be a gold medal for Ireland. So as we expected, Broadhurst announces the winner there and a pretty clear and comfortable winner. The first round was the tightest. After that, rounds two and three were clear, clear wins. And the Irish team all in attendance here to watch her. And then Lisa O'Rourke, who's coming up next. And that's wide for USA there. Look at that, 10 eights in the final round. Split scoring in that final round. One judge going for Khalif, but it didn't make any difference. So two judges scored it three now rounds to nil, which is how high I had it. And three judges scored it two rounds to one. So Ireland on the scoreboard.